Sometimes it's not going to be a lot, but we're going to see a few centimeters likely around the GTA. So enjoy the brief break while it lasts. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got a look at your forecast, of course, and we did have at times some ice out there yesterday. I know temperatures were really mild. Saw temperatures hit uh, 7.5 degrees actually yesterday in Toronto, but despite that, there still are some sections where we have some ice, and you've just got to watch your footings. Here's the good news. <laughs> the Toronto Boat Show's on <laughs> at the Direct Energy Centre, so if you're tired of thinking about winter, like me, uh, you can just go inside and start and kind of experience that spring and summer smell and environment. Kasha was there yesterday. And now we find ourselves at the Fish TV Kids Zone, where we we're doing a little bit of fishing here with the gals, right? Now I've got Je Jeff here. Jeff, tell me, you know, what's the best way to catch a fish in this pond? Well, you just got to get your line out there first okay. of all, and uh, often just letting it sh sit still or shaking it. Uh -huh. And oh, she's got a fish here right Whoa. now. <laughs> That's we, awesome! We She's splashing us. <laughs> that is hilarious. What else do you have as a part of this exhibit? Well, we've got seminars from fishing pros. There's uh, lots to learn. Come on down with your family. There's lots, to, lots of stuff for kids and families. Um, prizes to be won. All kinds of great things. Oh, well, it looks like you got the biggest prize. How do you feel about this? You got, you got a fish. I feel good. You feel good. And look, ah, ah, we got something here too. Uh oh, got our lines fish. are crossing. <gasps> this is so. How fascinating is this? All right, you know what? We're having too much fun. We're going to send it back to you inside with more on your weather story. Huh? <laughs> oh. Thank you so much, Kasha. Yeah, great timing to capture that on camera, right? Well, we've got some snowfall in the forecast for us as we head into tomorrow. Two to five centimeters generally across the south and towards Sudbury and North Bay, maybe slightly higher, five to ten centimeters of snow. So that will slicken up the road. Just watch your morning commute. Maybe give yourself a, a tad extra time tomorrow morning. Toronto, seven-day forecast. We've got temperatures sitting at about seasonal values right through to the weekend ahead. You know the saying, red sky at night, sailor's delight. Well, we are actually seeing some very delightful weather today. And taking a look, actually, at this beautiful red sky yesterday, cast that starts to develop overnight. It is mostly an overnight snow. So for those of you who get up very, very early in the morning, you may run into that in your drive into work. But again, it's an overnight snow. Probably it's seeing about wait, maybe two to five centimeters at most. For the GTA, we're thinking more like one to three. That's enough, though, to slicken up the road, certainly across uh, the 401 and some of the other major arteries. So two to five centimeters for the south. Sudbury and North Bay will see higher totals from the Clipper between 5 and 10 centimeters of snow. It's nothing compared to what Western Canada has been getting much because we're going to actually be seeing high pressure building in and the West is actually going to be warming up somewhat for the next little while. In terms of the forecast, well, we're going to be seeing temperatures sitting at about seasonal values probably for the next uh, foreseeable future actually in Toronto. And normal this time of year is about minus two, minus three. So you can see we're staying in that area until uh, the weekend. We're going to be getting some snowfall. And then for Hamilton, minus three on Thursday, mix of sun and cloud, few flurries coming in on Friday. So we'll watch for this. This could be a slightly slick end to the work week. And then Saturday, it brightens up a little bit. A little bit more snow for the early part of next week. Same goes for Oshawa on the east end, minus three for Thursday. Wednesday's temperature will be sitting at the freezing mark. And again, watching for that snow, possibly through the overnight, lingering for the very early morning hours. But of course, it's enough to cause problems on the roads. Now, this has been weeks in the making. 100 people stranded in Washington state. Coming up, we'll tell you what's happening there.